The £120 million for Rwanda, your argument is that could be small beer in the end compared to the hotel bills and everything else we're picking up at the moment. Most definitely. And I think, you know, at £5 million a day on hotel spend, that is very, very considerable. And the point I'd make is that, of course, the Economic Development Partnership, £120 million up front. And then, of course, we will be supporting some of the costs associated with processing. But the, the key point in all of this is that we need to get the system into a much more sustainable position. This is not sustainable at the moment, as you've alluded I, I to. And so, of course, in the long term, we should be saving money and getting the system under control. Let's be clear. A young, undocumented male is taken in to Dover Docks. Is the plan that he would go pretty much straight to Rwanda or would his claim be looked at? Would there be some assessment here before he was put on the aeroplane? So obviously we have to be compliant with our international obligations. That is essential. And of course, as the Prime Minister alluded to today, there is a significant chance that we will be legally challenged, which is why it's crucial that we live up to those international obligations. And I would argue that legal challenge is baseless if those international obligations are lived up to, which we will do. Individuals will be screened upon their arrival. Um, Obviously, the determining factor will be whether it is safe for those individuals to be uh, relocated to Rwanda. And we would then want to get on and do that as quickly as possible. if they've been screened and they're safe to fly to Rwanda, and then they pass their refugee status test in Rwanda, do they come back to the UK? No. They stay in Rwanda. Do they? I must be really clear about that point. And if they fail, they stay as well, do they? Um, that is a matter for the Rwandan authorities. Effectively, the moment that people step off the plane in Rwanda, they are the responsibility of the Rwandan government.